All right, guys, so here's another one that I wanted to make a separate video on. So I'm going to be doing the uh, valve cover modifications for my catch can setup, okay? And I am going to be doing it a little bit different than what I've seen everybody else do it. So the plan here is, you know, obviously this is a, not a huge turbo car, not a huge power car. So we'll, the plan here is I am going to uh, pull this fitting out, okay? And then I'm gonna install a dash 10. It's not the biggest dash 10. Is a three uh, three eight ten PT uh, dash ten okay? Uh, so that's gonna go here. Now uh, most people would just put another fitting here, okay? But uh, or back here, okay? Eliminate the PCB and then they put it back here. But uh, I've been doing a lot of reading online and it seems like a lot of the guys who do actual um, uh, track duty with the Evo uh, seem to have a lot of issues with this port, okay? And also with with having just two ports here it seems like when the car is doing um, what would that be like hard right handers okay uh, a lot of the oil you know will build up here just go to the catch can and then also an acceleration constant acceleration then it just goes into the intake manifold so I don't want either of those things so I actually I bought this setup uh, from motion rest race works okay this is more of a uh, domestic Kind of brand okay and they make this pretty cool fitting uh, this is meant so you can install it on any valve cover that has a flat spot okay and it comes with a nice uh, o-ring and then it gets has two baffles this, this this one goes in this little hole inside okay and then this big one uh goes in here somehow i'll show you guys later and it comes with a little bracket and this is also like a template so the idea is, I mean, this is kind of big. It's overkill because that's meant to, you know, be run on a, on a, on a big V8. You could run like a dash 12. Mm -hmm. So this is a dash 12 to dash, a dash 12 ORB to dash 10 AM. So the idea is I am going to mount that there, okay? Or somewhere around there, one of these, in one of the flat spots, okay? And the hopes is, and I'm also gonna eliminate the, the, the PCB block that off so the hope is that obviously to get enough ventilation okay that's that's the main thing not get any oil in the intake etc etc but also not to get a ton of oil in the catch can so hopefully with this being up high okay um and then also having the i'm gonna keep the stock baffles okay and the two baffles that this has built in i'm hoping that that's gonna keep a lot of a lot or all the oil out of the system, all right?
this thing came out so sweet. I really like this color. I really, it, I, was, I was trying to match the calipers. It's not quite the same blue as the calipers, but I'm still very, very happy with the color. And I had, I had him do the, the uh, expose of the uh, slightly polished on the uh, Mavic Turbo. I think that came out really nice. Unfortunately, when he sandblasted it, there was some like casting holes. Um, and I guess, you know, he showed me a bunch of pictures. I guess a lot of these magnesium valve covers have that problem. So uh, there was really not a lot of good options to cover that. He said he could put some epoxy, but he wouldn't guarantee, you know, if it, if, if, if it would stick or stay, you know, long term. So really the solution is just to put a little gold foil. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of those, I may get one of those heat shields that, that comes up like this eventually. But basically, I'm kind of married to the uh, gold foil because if I take this off, they're basically, there's powder coat there, but there's basically like a like a dead spot behind, like uh, there's one big one here that I can feel. But anyways, this is going to look so, so nice on there, you know. Not that the brand new one OEM doesn't look bad. Not that it looks bad, but I think it's going to look much better. All right, so let's get to, to the rest of it. So we're going to install the, uh, the fittings. I'm going to install the, the, the big breather and put the baffles back on. All right, so the way it works with this fitting, like I showed you guys before, I already put the, the small baffle in there. Okay, so it's like a little plate that you, you, you screw on there, all right? That blocks off, you know, the, the, the big hole, all right? So then this plate goes over the valve cover okay and then with the with the, with the bolts then you know that gets screwed onto here so basically so we're gonna have the stock baffle okay which is gonna go back on here we're gonna have this acting as a baffle you can see here that it basically blocks any direct path of oil also the way I drill this is just a bunch of little holes, so it's basically also kind of restricted there, right? It can't just go freely through up. And it has the internal baffle. So I'm kind of hoping that it's overkill and this doesn't go oil into my catch can. All right, guys, here's the finished product. So I think that besides having to have the, uh, the gold there, it came out really nice. I ended up getting this uh, super nice titanium hardware uh, from a company called uh, Vivid TI. I found them on, on eBay. 
be surprisingly and this definitely clears uh, there's no issues with the, with the hood clearance or anything like that <clears throat> so another domestic thing that i got and this is i, I ran uh, some of these on my evo 10 as well uh, so this is a mighty mouse solutions catch can um, it actually has a really nice design inside and everything like that i'm not going to get into all the details about it because that's not what this video is about but uh, I basically, it came with this uh, little quick release mount, okay? So you can unscrew it from here, right? And then quickly kind of pull it up. And it also has a, a little quick drain at the bottom, all right? So it, it, uh, it comes with that. You can pick whatever fittings you want, okay? You can also put a fitting here if you wanted a third fitting. Uh, but if not, it comes with default with the little with the little window, okay? It, it is baffled. It's, you know, it's got all kinds of nice features and stuff like that again and that's more of a domestic kind of brand uh, but i made i made my own little mount here i just put a backing plate behind the uh the fat fab uh, battery mount okay and i mounted it there um and then i really like this line this is the uh aero uh starlight okay and even although you do need like in uh tools to put this together okay the actual hose ends the hose itself doesn't is not braided it is braided but it doesn't have the steel braiding okay so you know this is not high pressure so this is really easy to work with it's really flexible the steel braided stuff sometimes just becomes a pain you know? yeah besides that man uh, i'm really happy with the with the end result okay uh, so far i've driven the car a few hundred miles and it doesn't seem to be anything in the catch can uh, but the true test is going to be when I take this to the track and I actually take some turns and stuff like that to see if that fills in. So uh, besides that, like I know like this intake and, you know, this doesn't flow, but eventually I'm going to get rid of that intake. I'm probably going to go speed density. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, there's plans for that. That's definitely not going to stay like that. And, you know, I'm not really super thrilled with the way the manifold looks and the yellow turbo. But again, this is all kind of you know, for now, you know, hopefully in, in the future, I'll be able to, to get a, a nice motor sports kind of setup. So I'm going to leave it at that guys. Uh, let me know what you think about the valve cover. Okay. Uh, let me know what you think about the crazy fitting. Let me know if you, if you think it's going to work or not. All right. Um, but yeah, guys, stay tuned. Peace out. Thanks.